used to be speaking in the sixth symposium of the Charles Methodology Research Network. And welcome to anybody who hasn't been part of this at the earlier stage. So, quite simply a little bit about me. I'm Scottish. I was a teacher. At one point I had hair and it was of a darker colour than it is now. We live in Nottingham as a family. I had cancer in 1995, which, for the observant amongst you, is exactly 25 years ago. And it was just about now I was more than halfway through my treatment. And of course we also, although we live in a flat, we also have a canal barge. In terms of trials methodology, I'm the lead for involving engaging public with the Trials Methodology Research Partnership. I'm a member of the Evidence Synthesis Ireland's Advisory Board, public partner in the priority studies, and quite simply I just have a curious and inquiring attitude. So what do we mean by an informed public? Now, if we were in Cork, we'd be embracing the land and the sea. We'd enjoy the fruit and learn about James Barry and Mother Jones. I shall leave you to become informed by looking these people up. We already understand the informed, the word informed, because we use it in informed consent, where we sign to give permission that we understand the full knowledge of the consequences as well as the risks and benefits. Dr. O'Driscoll, the Chief Executive of the Health Research Board, helpfully reminds us that people want to know what works and why. That is quite different from our normal way of involvement. Too many times with involvement, what we do is we introduce people like myself and explain the methodologies, the processes, the funding, the infrastructure, etc. to a point where I actually become more like you as a researcher. The nature of being informed is, what can I get to help me? Where can I find it? Will I understand it? How might I use it? And can I help? So is there more of a role for patients and public who do get involved to help us bridge this divide and actually help to take research out and to do this bit about helping people become more informed? And for this audience, how do we make trial methodology research more, more meaningful for everyone? There are many good examples of how research in society is integrating in Ireland. I health facts, where the public can check the reliability of claims made on social media. The People's Trial, where the public were invited to put in ideas, then to prioritise the best of them, and then to come up with the actual study. The priority study is looking at trial conduct. And of course, the BPI Ignite program at NUI Galway, which always, when I'm attending one of their meetings, starts with a person's health, describes what they did, how they got involved, and then what changed as a result. What changed for the research? For the research and for the person themselves. I could easily have mentioned Evidence Synthesis Ireland, start programmes are Cochrane Ireland. An informed public is able to ask questions, feels that health research means something to them, sees the, the importance of research to better health and can understand what we mean by uh, research in trials and grasps the importance of trial methods research and is made to feel welcome, comfortable and confident, supported in that journey of discovery and learning. An informed public will also be keen to see that people are working in partnership. I think the great work in Ireland of the Health Research Charities group along with APOSI patients involved, along with the Health Research Board. And I think for us, it's about saying, where does trial methodology make sure 
that it's also working in partnership with charities, patients group and HRP. I'm grateful to the work of uh, Alice Begin and Marie Olson and Paula Williamson because what they do is remind us that involving the public in trials methodology research helps with value, integrity and the quality of research. It's no different from any other patient or public involvement because you still have a research question, you still have patient leaflets or participant leaflets that have to be looked at. So understandability, appropriateness, suitability, all of those things can be things uh, can be looked at. But what we are finding in this world is that it doesn't seem always necessary that you need to have a patient experience. Although patient involvement could be a helpful you know, skill or experience to have had. It's certainly initially. And the role then becomes more about advice and assistance. It's like the earlier slide where we looked at the difference between involvement and that about being informed and that role that sits in the middle. And there is on the link that you'll find that comes out to a workshop we held on patient and public involvement in trials methodology for the partnership. I believe that trial methodology is important for patients and the public because it's about seeing that the most effective research methods are being used to gather and understand evidence. It's about it's being reassured that they're reviewed and evaluated. It's about knowing that improvements and innovation are being done and being certain that those have been evaluated to the highest of standards. Public partners bring different perspectives. They remind us of the use of plain language. They bring insight from different life experiences. They help promote inclusion and remind us about diversity. They help ground the research in real life. They bring advice from other types of involvement. They can help us follow through to make sure we've carried out the actions and plans we intended to do. They connect us with new and different networks and they convey the public voice at the table. So my final questions. How do we raise awareness about trial methodology research? How do we help the public understand what it is and what it does? How do we address inclusion and diversity? How do we make best use of digital technologies and capture the impact of involving the public. But ultimately, how do we let others know what we're doing? And thank you very much for listening and thank you very much to the uh, organisers of this conference for inviting me to give this talk. Uh, if you have any questions, I will be actually available online at this point.